Hi friends, welcome back to Food Friends. I'm so glad you're here with me because the big idea we're exploring today is we all eat different parts of many different plants. Now, before we get started, I want to make sure you know a couple of important words. And the first word is edible. It's pretty simple. When something is edible, it's safe to eat. Some plants are not edible, which means they are not safe to eat. But lucky for us, lots and lots of plants are edible and yummy. And it's important that you know that word because today's lesson is edible plant parts. We're going to investigate six different plant parts that people like to eat. And that brings me to the second word I want you to know, botanist. A botanist is someone who studies plants. And that's what we're going to do. So today, you are all young botanists. One of the plant parts that we enjoy eating are the seeds. And seeds come in all different shapes and sizes. For example, corn kernels are seeds. The head of a sunflower has hundreds of seeds. And these beans are also types of seeds. These are all seeds because each one of these has the ability to grow into its own big plant. And in just a bit, we'll talk about how that happens. Another plant part we love to eat are the tasty roots that grow underground. Did you know that carrots, beets, and radishes are all roots? That's right, and they're all delicious. Just remember to wash them first. We can also eat the stems of a plant. Things like celery and asparagus are stems. So is this. Even though it's a strange shape, it's called kohlrabi, and it's very crunchy, but it's also a stem. Leaves are another plant part that we love to eat. Kale, spinach, and arugula are all examples of delicious leaves. Sometimes we can even eat the flowers of plants, like these right here. That's right, broccoli, cauliflower, and artichokes, these are all examples of flowers that we eat. Another plant part that we like to eat are fruits. Apples, tomatoes, and believe it or not, even squash are all examples of fruit from a plant. And I bet they're also some of your favorites to eat. So there you have it. Those are some of the many delicious edible plant parts we love to eat. And if you put your mind to it, I bet you could think of many more. Okay, now I want you to do this with me. Point to your nose. We use this to smell. Point to your ears. We use these to hear. Point to your legs. We use these to walk, run, or jump. Just like different parts of a human body have different jobs, different parts of a plant also have different jobs. And to help us learn about this, we're going to use our bodies. So go ahead, stand up, and make sure you have some space around you because we're gonna be doing some moving. First, let's scrunch our bodies down into a tiny seed like this. Imagine our seed is in the ground and it wants to grow. Well, for that to happen, it needs to send its roots into the soil looking for water. So let's pretend our toes are the roots, looking for water and nutrients. Go ahead and move your roots around. Once the roots find what they need, they do their job and drink it up. Next, the water and nutrients go from the roots to the stem. Let's use our legs and body as the stem. The stem's job is to help the plant grow tall and strong. The stem also acts like an elevator, bringing water and nutrients to different parts of the plant. Okay, what's another plant part you can think of? How about leaves? That's a plant part, right? Let's pretend our hands are leaves. Hold your hands out away from your body 
and turn your palms up to the sky, like this. Now turn your leaves a little bit so that they're facing the sun, just like real leaves do. The job of a leaf is to catch the sun's light and to turn it into food for the plant. When you think about it, leaves are kind of like the kitchen of the plant, where all the food gets made. Now, let's pretend we're flowers. Spread your fingers out as wide as they can go and put them on either side of your face, like this. Wow, you all are some beautiful flowers. And that's good because a flower's job is to use bright colors and powerful smells to attract pollinators like bees, birds, and butterflies. Some flowers, once they're pollinated, will begin to form fruit. And here's something that even a lot of adults don't know. A fruit is any part of a plant that has seeds inside. That's right. Even if it's something we think of as a vegetable, if it has seeds inside, it's a fruit. For example, a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds inside. An apple is a fruit because it has seeds inside. A pepper is a fruit because why? You guessed it, because it has seeds inside too. Very good. The fruit of a plant has a very important job and that job is to protect the seeds that grow inside. This is important because by using its seeds, one plant can help make another plant. All it needs to do is get its seeds back into the ground. Sometimes insects and birds help the seeds get into the ground. Sometimes the wind moves seeds to the ground. And other times we get seeds into the ground by planting them in a little bit of soil. And then the whole cycle starts all over again. Pretty cool, right? Okay, my young botanist, now that you know all the edible parts of a plant, can you name them with me? Let's do it. Seeds, roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Excellent. And now that you know them, you can tell your family and your friends all about the plant parts. You can even make up a game and ask people at your dinner table if they know what plant part they're eating. It's really fun. Thank you so much for joining me today to talk about edible plant parts. See you next time.